Hello everyone, I am Dian Chen from University of Science and Technology of China. Today I am glad to share our recent work with you. The title of our work is IHGNN Interactive Hypergraph Neural Network for Personalized Product Search. And this work is finished by researchers from two institutions. First, let me introduce the background of our research. These days, in product search scenarios, the number of products grows explosively. Therefore, the quality of search results is obviously crucial for both user, user satisfaction and retailer revenues. Different from the traditional search task that focuses on finding the items mentioned in a query, product search is more challenging as the target products are highly personalized. Taking the query delicious food as an example, European users may expect some pasta, while Chinese users may be interested in dumplings. Therefore, it is important for a product search engine to be personalized. To achieve this goal, existing methods mainly use representation learning. Despite their decent performance, we argue that they have not sufficiently exploited the collaborative signal. Collaborative signal is latent in historical user query product interactions to reveal the affinity among the entities. For example, the users engaging with the same product may have similar preferences. We can use this affinity information to get higher quality representations. In recent years, graph neural network has been widely applied to relational representation learning. We wish to take its advantages for PPS. However, this idea is non-trivial to transfer to the PPS task due to two main difficulties. Problem 1. More complicated than traditional search and recommendation, interactions in PPS are ternary rather than binary. Each interaction involves three elements, user, query, and product. Like in figure A, if we forcibly split the ternary relations into three binary relations, we will lose the information like under which query the user product interaction happens. Therefore, we need, to, um, we need a more general topological structure for model development. Problem 2. Existing GNNs mainly adopt a linear aggregation over the features of neighbors, ignoring the, the high-order feature interactions of neighbors. In fact, in PPS, the interactions between related entities could be a strong signal to indicate the characteristics of the target node. For example, when a user searches for women's bank and finally purchases a bank of the brand Hermes, the interaction of the query and the product would generate a quite useful semantic women's luxury brands for profiling the user's preference. We need to explicitly consider the feature interaction to enhance the representations. To tackle previously mentioned problems, we propose to construct a hypergraph from the ternary user query product interactions. Compared with a simple graph, hypergraph is a more suitable data structure for modeling ternary relations because each hyperedge can connect any quantity of nodes. On this basis, we further propose a novel PPS model named IHGNN Interactive Hypergraph Neural Network. Our model makes two important improvements. First, IHGN adopts a two-step information propagation scheme, node aggregation, which connects information from nodes to related hyperages, and hyperage aggregation, which collects information from hyperages to related nodes. Second, we explicitly conduct high-order feature interaction of neighbors to enhance the target node's representation. In the methodology section, we detail the proposed IHGN for personalized product search. IHGN contains four modules. First, a hypergraph construction module that constructs hypergraph from the historical user query product interactions. Second, an embedding generation module that transforms the features of entities into their initial representations. Third, an aggregation module that refines the embeddings 
by collecting the information from neighbors and high order neighbors. Last, a prediction module that generates the prediction of user purchase inclination based on the refined embeddings. Finally, we will discuss the properties of IHGN and its connection with existing methods. Different from simple graph, in a hypergraph, a hyperedge could connect two or more nodes. A hypergraph G includes a node set V and a hyperedge set E. The instance matrix H describes the connectivity of the hypergraph like adjacency matrix. Specifically, in PPS task, we can let node set V's element represent a user, a query, or a product, and let hyperedge set E's element represent a user query product interaction. We will introduce how to utilize the hypergraph structure later. Here, we introduce the embedding generation module. This module aims at mapping mapping entities into a common representation space. Here, we follow previous work to transform the features of queries to their representations. That is, for each query queue, we utilize the query content information and use a mean pooling over word embeddings to generate the query embedding as the equation 2. For each user U or product P, we directly generate its embedding from an embedding lookup table, where the lookup table E is a parameter matrix. In aggregation module, we describe our two-step embedding aggregation scheme. To be more specific, for each node V and shown in the right figure, we perform two operations to update its representation. The first operation is node aggregation. The node's information is propagated to related hyperedges. Specifically, for each hyperedge E and its connected nodes UQP, we use the aggregation function as equation 3 to calculate the information contained by E. Here, we choose a linear transformation instead of the conventional simple average because the hyperedge could collect different types of nodes, and we believe that they may make different contributions. The second operation is hyperedge aggregation. As the equation 4 shows, the information of hyperedges is propagated back to related nodes. With such two operations, the knowledge of neighbor nodes has been explicitly injected into the target nodes, reinforcing its representation quality. Then we will show how to model neighbor feature interaction. As previously discussed, we argue that linear aggregation is insufficient. Based on this point, we have equation 5, where we calculate the 1, 2, and 3 order feature interaction with element-wise product, respectively. The diagram is in the right figure. Similarly, we use a linear layer to aggregate the interaction information as equation 6. This useful information will be further propagated into the target node representation through the previously mentioned hyperedge aggregation, which is equation 4. <coughs> to completely exploit the collaborative signal, we further consider to stack aforementioned aggregation module. So beginning from layer 2, every layer takes the output of a previous layer as input. Finally, as the equation 8 shows, we concatenate the representations learned by different layers to generate the entity's final representation. By doing so, we enrich the initial embeddings with the information propagated from similar high-order neighbors. Our IHGN is to generate a prediction based on the learned embeddings. As the prediction module is not our focus, we simply refer to HEM for implementation. It is relatively simple but proved effective. Specifically, we estimate the purchase probability using equation 9. Here, lambda is a hyperparameter. Lambda is used to control the contribution of the user preference and item relevance. 
As for model optimization, for fairly comparison, we closely follow the related work graph SRL to learn the model parameters. Specifically, we optimize the following objective function as equation 10. Here, we use the negative sampling strategy to generate negative user query product triples. The proportion of positive and negative triples is 1 to 10. In this section, we discuss our method's connection with existing PPS methods. First, we compare our IHGN with graph SRL. This method manually designed three affinity patterns. For example, provided there are two interactions, U1QP and U2QP, the method thinks that U1 and U2 may have similar preference. Obviously, these affinity patterns can be adaptively captured by our IHGN. Besides, our model captures more and thus yields a better performance than graph SRL as reported in our experiments. Also, it is worth to discuss the connections with some related work that models long short-term preference. In fact, it can be considered as a special way of utilizing collaborative signal. Our model can also capture this pattern in a one-layer aggregation. Then we discuss our model's connection with existing hypergraph neural network, HGNN. These methods derive HGNN from spectral convolution, and they are similar. They have similar propagation scheme as our IHGNN. But our model differs in the following two aspects. First, when performing node aggregation, we give different weights for different types of nodes. Second, we explicitly model feature interaction of neighbors, which is important in PPS. At last, we will discuss our method's connection with graph neural network. For GNN on the collapsed graph, we need to split the ternary relations into three binary relations. This means that interaction UQP will be split into UQ, QP, and UP. The key difference is that our IHGN utilized HyperH as a medium to process and transfer information so that the ternary relation can be treated in a complete view, while GNN can only handle the fragment information. This difference makes our IHGN usually achieve better performance. In this section, we conduct experiments to validate the effectiveness of our model. We utilize three datasets. The first is Alibaba Air dataset from, collected from Taobao.com. We conduct one and five core filtering on it and get Ali1 core and Ali5 core. Ali1 core is relatively very sparse and is used to show the robustness of our model. The second is CIKM cup dataset. The third is CDS5, a subset of Amazon product review dataset. We use the top 10 ranking results to calculate the evaluation metrics. We compare 11 models in our experiments. LSE is a classic non-personalized product search model. HEM, ZAM, and TM are personalized models. Graph SRL, GCN, GAT, and Hive GCN are graph-based models. IHGN is the proposed method in this paper with different versions. IHGN01 does not consider feature, inter feature interaction of neighbors. The O2 version considers one and two order interaction. The O3 version considers one, two, three order. This table presents the perform performance of our IHGN comparing with baselines. From the results, we have the following observations. Firstly, we can see that personalized model is much better than non-personalized model. Secondly, methods based on graph usually have better performance than not graph-based methods. Third, IHGN versus other models. Our proposed method significantly outperforms the baselines on, on all datasets. This indicates that a structure of hypergraph and our improvements on hypergraph neural network is effective. Fourth, we can see that hypergcn is quite close to GCN. This result, sh result shows that only hypergraph is not enough. We need to carefully design the embedding model to utilize its advantage. 
last comparison across datasets. As previously mentioned, we generate sparse dataset RD1 code to test the model's performance on sparse data. On this dataset, our IHGN degrades less than other models and still yields a strong result. Then we conducted some ablation studies. In Table 3, we list different variants of IHGN used for ablation study. The results are shown in Table 4. First, we study the contribution of weighted node aggregation. It is used in IHGN01 and not in HyperGCN. Results in Table 4 show that weighted node aggregation brings big performance promotion. Then we study the contribution of modeling high order feature interaction. We see that considering two and three order feature indeed boosts PPS performance. This result is coincident with our intuition. And at last, we study the contribution of leveraging complete relations. We construct a model and only consider user and product nodes, IHGN, UP, and another model that only considers query and product nodes, IHGN, QP. These results show that uh, modeling user query product triples with a hive graph is much better. Then we conducted sensitivity analysis to study the effect of a GNN layer count. We vary the number of GNN layers from 0 to 6. From the result, we see that with the layer increasing, the performance will become better at the beginning. This validates the effectiveness of stacking multiple layers. But when a layer count surpasses a threat threshold, the performance becomes unaffected or even has some degradation. This shows that too deep layer may not bring additional collaborative signal and even may bring some noise. We have also studied the effect of embedding size. We vary the embedding sizes from 32 to 256. The results show that increasing embedding size benefits IHGN model. And our model outperforms all baselines with different embedding sizes. We also observe that the superiority of IHGN is more obvious on the sparser RD1 code dataset, which demonstrates that our model has better ability to capture feature information from sparse data. That is all about our work. Thanks for listening. Please refer to our paper for more details. We also release our implementation on GitHub. Thank you all for listening. Mm.